Doing the capacity test. I have the EMS hooked up and I have the power hooked up to my capacity testing thing and that there's a little fan blowing and it takes the heat. The elements there get hot, the aluminum. And so that's what it's going and we're trying to test this battery to make sure it's really putting out 100 amp hours. So that's the test with this thing. And the max is 185 watts. I got it set at 178 watts. That's the max that it can put out. Otherwise it goes into overload. Got the box anchored down now to the bottom board, just because, and it's because of the batteries are freaking heavy, man. This thing probably weighs 70 pounds. So I put a lot of screws in there. They're little screws, but they got a hold, you know. So put the lid on here. I got to change my tape is jacked there. I got to need some electrical tape. Um, that's the Bluetooth of the BMS. And I got my cords kind of routed here. I mean, I'll be able to stuff them. I just don't have the, I don't have the uh, BMS cord plugged in just because I'm, I'm still waiting for my positive uh, cables to come in, and then I'll be done with this box. But everything else is, uh, is the BMS is down there. That's the Bluetooth. And then there's just some room here, a little ventilation. That's it. I have the uh, two battery temperature sensors. So I'm gonna try to pick one here. Put it in the front of, in between cell three. I think I gotta put the camera down. Really didn't have the length to get over where I wanted to, so I just have it on the side of the battery there. And I, the tip of it is the, is the thermistor. So I left that uncovered, um, didn't want to have it insulated. So if the outside of the battery gets colder before the inside of the battery, I'll have a heads up uh, before anything gets out of whack. We'll see how that works. I did anchor the, uh, this is the uh, Bluetooth for the uh, Overkill BMS. And I just anchored that down to the top of the battery. I've got my battery part all hooked up, all the cables. So everything's plugged in. The BMS plug is plugged in. I was messing with this last cable. So I, you always want to unplug your BMS when you're messing with the cables. So, um, and this is hot cable. It goes, goes to the 200 amp fuse, leaving the battery through the 200 amp fuse. And it, I just had a breaker, so I put an 80 amp breaker in there. And the uh, fuse is just for catastrophic failure. So at least it would separate the battery from the inverter. But So that's the breaker. 
and then I do have um, my bus bar. And I just tied the two leads from the BMS, these two here, uh, bus bar, and this is our main negative. That everything is going to this Anderson connector that we were going to be plugging into our our main unit. So I'm going to get this box on top of this other box and anchor them down and uh, we'll get ready to fire this thing up. So whenever you're gonna charge up a new inverter, before you plug it in or hook up the glass cable or whatever, you really want to have a resistor. This, this resistor is a, it's a 25 watt, 30 ohm resistor, and it's just a because the capacitors will charge up very quickly, and you'll really get a big spark. It'll arc, so you really want to. I already did. I already did it. So you want to put this, you know, between there. And there. So and you just got to touch it and hold it for a few seconds. And I just did both of them for a few seconds. So hopefully we'll avoid that big arc when we turn this on. So this is a ceramic resistor. They're like six bucks. They're really cheap, but it stops that big blow. And I've heard of people blowing fuses and everything and not figuring out what the heck it is until... Uh, they've charged a capacitor. So consider that when you're going to turn on your inverter.